What's up, Glam Girl Squad? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's your girl, Andelle. If you are new here, hey, boo, what's up? So, boo, in today's video, I am trying out Patrick Star's One Size Beauty's new primer. And girl, 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 I'm going to give you all the tea. If you don't even see by this smile on my face already, because my smile tells everything. Um, I'm obsessed with this primer so far. If you guys want to see my actual... I'm telling you guys the tea. I shouldn't give you guys the tea so early, but I can't lie. I can't lie. Where's my poker face? This is what the PR box looks like. So you have the Secure the Blur, which is a makeup magnet primer, and it runs for 30 bucks. Instantly blur, pour, secure makeup all day, hydrates and controls shine. And then we have the hydrating under eye patches, which I've never used under eye patches before. I don't know, have you guys used under eye patches before? I've seen people use them, especially before like photo shoots and things like that. And they are hydrating for under the eyes, and they're 25 bucks. You get six pairs, so you can use it three different times. I love one size. I feel like a lot of their products are black girl friendly. So I really wanted to try this blurring primer. One, because I feel like primers are super important when you are doing your makeup looks, especially me, especially now that I have some texture on my skin. One of the main concerns for me is getting that nice, like, face tune blurred out look to the skin. That's like my favorite thing. And you can achieve that with primers and also powders and also how you use your setting sprays. Um, which I wouldn't be surprised if Patrick Star came out with a setting spray because, I mean, you got the primer, so this is really cute. Like, what? I love this. It's so cute. It's going to look so cute on my little shelf. Hold on. Let me let my edges be free, y'all. So, now that I got my edges out, okay, now we're ready to see what this is talking about. So, it doesn't say how much to apply, so I'm just going to apply like I normally do. Because it has a tube that is like supposed to just be squeezed on your face. Or at least that's what I think. Hopefully I'm not applying too much. I'm just going to be generous with it. Well, when I use primers, I use them based on what a, what vibe I'm trying to get for the day. And like what am I trying to accomplish? So like if I'm really trying to mattify my skin and not have my pores showing. Like if I'm doing a shoot, I'm definitely going to have like primer that's going to really block up them pores and give me a flawless look. If I'm running errands, I'm probably not going to put primer on. Oh, I see it actually already like going in and blurring out those pores. I'm not gonna hold you, like what? Or taking like my IG pictures, I definitely want to not head over to Facetune so much and you know, use that blurring effect. I definitely want to, you know, it's a photograph really well on camera so it saves me less work in the editing department. This is pretty, I see it, oh my God, we're not gonna talk about it. I see it already working. I'm gonna see what happens if I put it on a little bit more because it doesn't say, you know, how much to put on. So let's see what we could really do. I like that it comes out like this. Um, the Tatcha primer, which I really do love, I do have to like, I use this brush for it, but some people use their fingers and I don't like using my fingers when it comes to my makeup. I mean, I could do something like this, but as far as me digging into a product and applying it, I don't like that. Like when I have my nails on, just like, I'm like a really gentle girl. Like I just, I'm really gentle, you know? I can't lift anything. Like even if I go shopping, I'm like, babe, can you come downstairs and grab the boxes? Like, because I can't lift this. Um, if I have groceries, hey babe, can you come grab these? Because I just have so much in my hands and I'm just like walking out with like my cup and he just comes and grabs it. A boyfriend is good to come and grab your stuff because they're essential. Like, you know, they're strong <laughs> and I have my nails. But, um, so yeah, I just applied my primer. So I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to do my regular like foundation routine, concealer. I am going to use the, um, what am I going to use? I'm gonna use the one size setting powder just because it makes sense. I find that when you do use products that are from the same family, it definitely um, has really good benefits versus mismatching. My normal routine consists of um, a lot of things that are from the same brand and that's okay. But for the sake of this review, I definitely want to pair the setting powder with the new primer because that just makes sense to me. Ooh, okay, so I'm really excited because I can already see like the primer created like this barrier between my skin 
and Lena's like not gonna touch the lace though. The primer created a thin barrier between my skin and the foundation so like I easily covered up that pimp that was right there. You see the foundation really locking in to my skin and actually really giving me a nice blur like what? Playing in makeup makes me excited. I love it. I love it. If you guys are looking or interested for a nice foundation brush definitely check my Amazon affiliate links at the bottom of this video. It is an affiliate link, which means that I do get a little bit of coin if you do purchase. So I'm going to use the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. And this is in the shade, what shade is this? 4W. Ooh, I was about to do a different setting powder. I forgot that we said we were going to use the Patrick Star one, darling. One moment. So this is the one size beauty setting powder. This is actually the travel size in translucent. And I'm just gonna set where I'm my, you know, where I be talking at, my talking lines. And then I'm just going to get underneath my chin. Since I'm just setting my entire face, I should just grab my face brush and then just like, yeah, that's something to do. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm gonna go in and do like a little bit of baking right underneath the eye make sure you get that area right in the corner of your nose like that um mm -hmm. i love to bake and i want to do a little bit of eyeshadow today nothing too crazy i am going to grab the patrick star one size beauty makeup palette because of course why wouldn't we beautiful colors a lot of neutrals a lot of like this blue one day i want to do a fire look with this blue one day darling um but for this look i am going to just use probably soft serve a little bit of mango i don't want it to be like i just want to add a little bit of like a little bit of dimension to my eye so i'm just going in with soft serve and just kind of following along my crease do that i'm gonna grab everything which i'm gonna actually use my finger for because i tried it on my finger and it looks kind of pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna do everything. That looks pretty. Ooh la la. To kind of bring some life underneath my eyes so it's not like just all that setting powder. I don't go all the way up. I just focus probably from the end of my nose going up like this. So it could be a really good transition color into my contour. So I'll go like that. And this brush is supposed to be an eyeshadow brush, y'all. Which I'm like, how? It's big as hell. It's M500. And then for my contour, I do go and kind of touch it up a little bit. And go like that. Hit the areas where it once was. Okay, boop. Now we're done with that part. Um, I like to also take my OG, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I lied. This is not Mineralized Skin Finish. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus in NC50. I love her. She gives the skin a nice blur. Because um, essentially it's like a powder foundation. So if you ever want to have like a nice like pretty like look. You could just put a little bit of concealer and just use this as a nice powder foundation. Because some people don't really like liquid foundation or understand how to use it quite yet. So I get it girl. I understand. We're going to go in with the one size liner. We love it. It's super easy, especially if you are a beginner. It is super easy to kind of create a really beautiful liner. Like, the, one of the easiest ways I've seen. Because it's literally like a pen. But this is a normal speed I would go to do my liner. I mean, I put a wing liner pretty much on every day. Or every time that I'm doing my makeup. So, not every day. That's cap. It's super easy. And then I just repeat the same step on the other eye. So for 
lashes lash time this is the Lara lifestyle lash and style dream girl it's one of my faves it's a 25 millimeter lash a little birdie told me that there's actually a new price for it so um starting this year 2021 meaning right now all the Lara lifestyle lashes are $15 all the mink lashes are $15 the full mink lashes are $10 and my wonderful lash books are $45 and that's five of the mink lashes for 45 bucks so we are gonna be using the dream girl lash today I love her she's fluffy she's just effing she's wispy she's voluminous she just makes all the girls jealous and she brings all the boys to the yard <laughs> Also using the Super Hold Lash Glue that's also sold at Lara Lifestyle for $8 and it works really good, girl. Really good. You let your lashes dry for 30 seconds and then boom, you put them on. And I like to use my Lara Lifestyle Lash Applicator. This is also on the website. You grab that lash, stick it on there, girl, and it's just super easy. But overall, like, my skin looks flawless, like, flawless. This might be one of my new favorite primers. Like, what? Patrick Star does it again like but are you surprised though are you really surprised like sis this is pretty I did a good job we are at the end of this video and honestly i just want to thank you guys if you had made it this far you are legit and you are dope because boo this primer is really bomb especially when you pair it with the one size beauty setting powder like girl it looks so good like my makeup looks really so flawless and i use the perfect amount it actually complemented my you know my foundation and my concealer and everything that i had already which is super bomb because that way i can just incorporate you know incorporate it into my regular makeup routine and not have to change too much of what i got going on i love that about it it's sitting okay it's sitting it's sitting you know what i'm saying like la pshita like nula like what about that yo So let's run through the car facts again like let's run through the makeup facts so i mean off the rip this does instantly blur the skin like as soon as i put it on i definitely saw that it was instantly blurring um hydrating my skin does not feel tight it actually feels really smooth and for the amount of makeup that i put on my skin today i noticed that it feels good like it feels like it's really lightweight and it doesn't feel like my skin is super heavy and worn down which i love especially with using a new primer today and um it does grip the makeup like when i put on the foundation it gripped that foundation i was like yo like they married like they felt a union union fell out first like they came together and they loved each other and they kissed and they hugged and they went on a date and they took a stroll through Jacques Mel and it was just it for them like it do I think that it's worth three dollars yes I do even as I'm talking like I'm talking right now and I'm noticing I don't have any laugh lines like I'm talking right now and I don't have any laugh lines I've been talking this entire video and I don't have any laugh lines like that's what I'm and my skin feels smooth as hell crazy because sometimes i'll be talking through a video and i notice that i get the laugh line girl you gotta get you gotta get this primer like for real like for real like between me and you <laughs> you gotta get this primer like no cap Thank you Glam Girl Squad for watching this video. If you are new to the Glam Girl Squad, hey boo, what's up? Um, it's been a pleasure to have you in this video. Definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video so I know that you like videos like this. And also comment down below, what do you think about this primer that I've used so far? Would you cop it? And also, what primer are you using right now and do you even use primer? You know, do are we even there? Is that even a step that you have taken this far in your makeup game? What's tea? Okay, I want to know. So thank you guys for watching this video. I really enjoy hanging out with you guys. And let's hang out again soon. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.